Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Today I'll bring you some kill confirmed gameplay. But this gameplay today is going to be a battle. It is going to be a battle back and forth. The majority of the enemy team joined the lobby. And when I check the stats, their stats are very high for kill confirm. And you can see they play kill confirm all the time. And they're very experienced in kill confirm. So you know the captain isn't going to back down, so we stayed in the lobby. And this is the result. Now with good players, there's always going to be a subconscious battle for the power position. Oh, get knocked out, boy. And as I've taught many times before, the power position on this map is the mansion in the middle. And you can call it the stronghold. And the name of the map is stronghold. So you can see the game is designed very, you know, in detailed, in these fine details. And you take advantage of it, you know, I put it there for a reason. But my team isn't holding the power position right now, actually. Look at the minimap, you can see my team away from the power position. So it's a fight for it, a subconscious battle. And you can see the score as well. They're going to bring it back due to that fact. And the key to getting into the power position is not just barging into it. Because you're going to die multiple times doing that in an aggressive manner. You have to build your way in, you have to break your way in and take them off. You know, it's a journey that's very important to the power position. So you execute a few of them on the way and clear the area. Because if you don't clear the area, they're going to kill you on the way. And it's going to be a waste of time and you're going to give them streaks. So you have to be intelligent about it. And when you do get into the power position, make sure you clear it first of any hostile enemies. Oh man, look at this, look at this. Boom, boy, get tricked. That's how you do it. Gun skill there, boy. Now, you just make sure and you make use of the advanced movement in the game. So I was unpredictable there. Remember the lesson I did on linear movement and don't be a linear player in this game? You guys have to take advantage of the advanced movement in this game, you know. Just use the boosters, thrusters, and you know, just be aggressive with it as well. Don't be afraid to use it. It's there for a reason, and that's why all the top players use it a lot. So the score now is 25-26. Oh, this is a close game. But we're not going to give up, because we never give up. So it's a real back and forth battle here. Oh, come on. War Machine, get off me with a War Machine, boy. The War Machine, aka the Noob Machine. But it's actually pretty fun to use sometimes and annoy players with it. And just get those multi-feeds with it. It can be very enjoyable. And these guys are always running together, look at that. Always together like some tag team, holding hands. And you're going to see that a lot in this gameplay. So right now the teammates are split, some to the left, some to the right. Check the minimap. I see the red dot, I come try to come behind them. Take this guy out first with a nice hip fire, tag him up a few times. Then eliminate that guy. So I see two tags, I take my one. And I leave the tag for Katal. If he wants it, but he doesn't want it, so I take it. And you can see I don't steal tags. Well, not intentionally anyway. But when I play with, you know, random teammates, they always seem to steal my tags. They're like those filter fishes that follows the shark around. I know when a shark catches its prey, the filter fishes just scavenge the leftovers after the shark did all the work. But the majority of the times, I don't mind as long as they collect the tags because I'm all about the win and I want to win. So collect the tags rather than just leave it there. Now it's 40-40, this game, I'm telling you, it's back and forth. And they're actually taking the lead right now. So you just gotta keep your composure. I wasn't really worried or anything like that during this time. I mean, I wasn't complacent or anything, but I wasn't worried as well. And look at that easy kill. I was behind the bar, behind the head glitch. He was in the open through a choke point. He had no chance. So position is important. And of course, he always has a gravity spike. The gravity spike can be very annoying when you're on a streak and someone just runs and randomly kills you with it. So you can see the subconscious battle for the power position taking place. And you just gotta be smart about it. Don't push too aggressively for it, but make sure to capture it and hold it longer than they do. And they have a Cerberus, so I do a Usain Bolt and get the hell out of there. And I'm pushing through the bunker side now, checking the score. They're actually in the lead, 46-53. And what the hell? This guy is like a bloody yeti. What's he doing in the corner there behind that that hill? So he comes in, he pushes in straight away. He knows the spawn. He drops shots. Very nicely done by him. 
He won that little mini battle there. But we'll see if he wins the war though. So I pull out a Yeti blaster gun. And I'm going to go to work on these Yetis. And that kind of made me mad. So I'm just going to step up my game just a little bit. And try a little bit harder. And beat them up a bit. But of course there's three of them there. What are they doing together? But look at this. Boom. Get turned on boy. I need to send this clip into National Geographic or something. These snow walkers are everywhere. Damn. So these guys really want to win. But I can't blame them. Because we really want to win also. KD doesn't mean anything if you lose the game. So at this point enough of the games. And I'm going to take back the power position. Let's do this now. You can see them spamming so many UAVs as well. And I'm not running ghost on this class. So I'm slightly a bit vulnerable on the radar. And they can see me a bit. Watch I enter the power position. Kill confirm for the win. I put my combat focus on. Take all those tags up. Now my teammates are going to push into the power position. Look at that. Smoothly like that. At the perfect time. So that's some forward thinking there. Like I've described before in a previous video. And I'm making good use of the cover. Peeking, pre-aiming. Head glitching very nicely. And I'm prepared for them now. Look behind a nice cover. And they can't get in. Look at that. Boom. They're getting taken out. My teammates are in here with me. They have a helicopter up. But they can't touch us. Because we're inside the power position. So these yetis always try coming into the mansion. But they're really going to go extinct if they keep doing that. 71 to 74. Take him out easily. And just checking the minimap constantly. Look at my teammates. In the power position very nicely. Get my helicopter for the win. And take you out boy. Give me those tags. Get my wraps. Get the orbital V sat up. And they're getting outplayed left and right. 77 to 74. 78 now. And you can see I'm maintaining the power position. Let my streaks do the work. And I'm um, just obviously pre-aiming. And looking at the minimap constantly. Now I see they got a sentry gun there. So I'm not going to push it. It's going to be a waste doing that. So I'm just picking off the stragglers like that. And you can see how aggressive they are. Trying to push into the power position as well. Also you can see that because we're holding the power position. We're forcing them to you know, remain on the outside. Where the streaks can do damage to them. But if they were in the power position. The streaks would have done minimal damage to them. And I don't know whose guardian is that. Probably some random guy's one. But it's actually a pretty good placement of that guardian by him. And this KN44 that I picked up is actually pretty good. And a good setup as well. And I do some damage with it. Look at that. Boom. Get taken out long range there. And um, pushing back now just to check my 6. And I always tell you to keep checking your 6. Because they love spawning or catching you off guard like that. Get punched and then get shot. So I punched him and then I hip fired him. Now I'm pushing through the bunker to force them outside to block their spawn. Of course, they're spawning outside now. So the helicopter and whatever the streaks are up can do the damage to them. So I'm being relentless to them, you know. I'm not giving them a chance. Because if you give them that tiny chance or opportunity, they will take advantage of it. So you never give them that. And the game comes to an end here. 54 kills, 10 deaths, 31 confirms. Yeah, I play the OBG and we win the game. You can see that precise timing of pushing that power position just turned the game around. And we brought it back. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. Please do leave a like if you did. Please share the video. It will help me grow. And please do subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more. Take care guys. Bye.